Demonic Angel. Today I'm going to talk about fasting. Uh, it's an interesting subject and I'll share my personal um, experiences and um, basically how I think it ties into spirituality. Um, essentially, I for the past, I don't know, probably a couple of years, um, I have done, uh, sometimes I'll do a three-day fast. That's probably only more like a few times a year, but once, about once a month I do um, a one-day um, fast. And I only drink um, water or herbal tea. Uh, no honey, you know, no sugar, nothing, nothing extra. And um, I, I just go that whole day. And I, when I, when I was younger, I really heard a lot about um, kind of the benefits of fasting or different, um, different ideas about weight loss or, or whatever. And when I was younger, I probably just saw that aspect of, you know, people fasting or uh, for weight loss. And that's a kind of a shame that I saw it in that way for such a long time because really that's not what it's about. What it, what it really is about is, um, is, is keeping the body kind of healthier. So, um, yeah, I recently about a, about a, I did a day fast about a day ago and I, I finished that up with, um, I, I drew a, a sigil on a brand new bottle of apple cider vinegar. I probably go through about two a month, but each time I, I do a, uh, I basically consecrate a new jar um, with a, a President Marbus sigil um, because Marbus is a huge part of um, my life. Uh, really, spirit guide is a good way to put it. Um, and, and I have many interactions with, um, with many demons, angels, um, non-human entities as, as well as humans and he's just kind of a constant for me um, that that I find useful to um, to relate some of the, 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 the ways I think so I've kind of really integrated Mar President Marbus in t and accept that as, as a part of my own mind um, but I don't think that's the end all be all or that it's, you know, just all me. But, you know, that, that's my big draw to President Marbus is the uh, health connection. And, um, and the way I kind of look at it is I'm not asking um, for health without um, doing, incorporating a lifestyle change. I'm going to make the change to... Uh, make the, the difference real and to move that along um, forward and to show that I'm, you know, I'm not just asking for, for uh, specific things that I'm going to put in that work. So basically, <laughs> um, I don't recommend fasting for anybody under the age of 25 because it, I think it can. It has the potential to um, kind of, I, I would say, probably draw people maybe into eating disorders it, because they're like they're so young, and we also know the brain is not fully, um, you know, fully formed until age 25. So I think that that's just such a vulnerable um, time for the brain and the neurotransmitters that there's really no need for that because the, the big, the big, uh, one of the big benefits of the fasting is um, to curb insulin resistance. And if you're really younger than 25, you really, you know, you really don't need that <laughs> so much. Um, but that's, I'm in my 30s, so I, and I do have diabetes in both sides of my family. So um, when you go a whole day or two or three or people go on longer fast than that, but I, I personally never have. Um, it 
helps you, your, basically your kidneys and your liver to really have a chance to completely detox from you know the everyday stuff like every you know you think oh boy it's been three hours or something since I've last last ate a meal well it's not real I mean it's still hard on your system and now you're gonna eat again and there's not that break and 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 I think that I mean I feel a big difference I was actually talking um, with a gentleman from uh, England who's a, f a friend of mine and he was saying that um, that that b he'll do c this kind of stuff and if he eats crap like fast food um, and, and then tries to do this kind of stuff that you f he feels it like it's much harder to fast it's it's much um, more draining but if if he eats well before he does it, this fast then um, it's not such so hard on him and it's also like he, he, he thinks he gets more benefits. Well, I basically would say I completely agree. I just didn't think that much, you know, into it. Uh, like thinking that the food I eat beforehand is really going to play too much of a part, but that, that's really true. It, it, it's the way it is for me. Um, so more recently, like, the day before I go on the fast, I'll try to eat, you know, decently healthy, um, and it makes it it makes it a lot easier to endure this kind of hunger. And that's kind of why I tie it into spirituality because um, no matter what, it's going to be a little bit painful to not have food, um, even just for a day. I mean, at least for me, and. Um, and I think that, that that dedication, that personal, um, you know, setting aside personal time for dedication to health it is really, really important. And it's also very grounding because uh, when your body is able to get rid of a few more uh, detox, it's able to do that more fully, then you're really going to be more grounded. Um, and that keeps... <laughs> negative attachments at bay and it um, one of the one of the biggest honestly um, things that that it has helped me with is my memory um, so for you know, whatever even one or two weeks after a, a fast I'll just notice those little improvements like um, forgetting to write things on a list a little bit less I have a pretty good memory anyway but the difference is real and it's it's there for me every time. So of course I thought maybe it's just the, you know a placebo and perhaps it is. But it was really really you know there for me every time like that and it really seems to help um, and it all you know it also helps your cells uh, rege you know regenerate um, in, in this different um, way so that like it helps your body to fight cancer because um, at least bef you know before those kinds of things happen because then you're not having the you're, you're minimizing the cells um, basically reproducing in some way that would be abnormal and uh, malignant so um, you know there it's just another Thing that that really um, is, is a great benefit and it does now um, Native Americans um, a lot of other different um, you know Buddhist monks other other cultures they do fastings um, to alter their state of consciousness to um, be able to reach into the spiritual realm a little bit more and it, it really does of course it alters your consciousness um, because it it takes away your focus um, you know you, I guess like oh, man you don't really realize how much time you're like oh, I'm gonna cook well at least for me I cook a lot I'm gonna cook I'm gonna eat and it's like there's so much fucking energy put into um, preparing meals cleaning them up and uh, eating that you're like now I have an extra f yeah. I have a fucking extra three hours or something today because 
there's there's more time and so that's kind of a, a unique perspective that that is already a, a different kind of state of consciousness so now there's a lot of people who shouldn't do this you obviously should talk to your doctor about your plans to fast um, you know people who need to take uh, diabetes medicine um, you know people with low blood sugar people who take um, medications that you know it requires you to have a, a snack or a meal um, for you to take that medicine well you know you really need to to be doing that and then talk to a doctor um, now when I do these kinds of things um, I, I've never done it for longer than three days and I don't I only drink water and um, herbal teas with no additives um, and that also means no um, you know no taking uh, multivitamins uh, or acetaminophen um, caffeine pills because <laughs> you know I love coffee and all that but just no I, cu I cut it out no substances so probably why you know I'm such a bitch like that is because maybe it's like the caffeine withdrawals but you know since we all kind of um, get really attached to those kinds of things and and you don't even for me I, I mentioned that before I don't really realize like how much caffeine it may seem more mundane than other substances but the effect is still really there um, the 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 bondage of chemical addiction is definitely there with caffeine but anyway I just want to share kind of how it makes me feel um, you know uh, and my friend, his thoughts kind of, or I should say, our little discussion, I thought that was really um, enlightening for me. So, um, yeah, but if this applies or something to your life, I definitely recommend doing a, giving it a try. And I just, you know, hope I could throw some um, little tips and tricks out there. And, and for me as a magician, um, this, is, this is really strengthening grounding because you're really letting your body detox and the more you do to stay healthy the more connected you are with the earth and the better a magician the better a person the more um, the more you can handle stress the better that resiliency and that is I really think what crafting um, yourself on the left hand path is all about is um, picking and choosing, um, you know, how, how to strengthen yourself. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.